and also back then a and r guys were different they were older they were in there well not to me they were in their 30s they came to work in suits yep you know they were in between their 30s and their 50s so to a 16 year old correct correct that's all that's older than my pops you know what correct. i'm saying my pops is old to me you know so to a 16 year old i'm seeing somebody that's 50 that's an a and r i'm like what does this guy know and that's why a lot of rappers used to beef about their a and r's not knowing the music and and, and they had a valid point they yeah. did because in <laughs> Man, you bringing me back. Um, that is that is that was the uniform of A and R's. They would literally come in in suits. Yeah, and you you are a young kid from the inner city. Yeah, and you dress in the way we dress, and you in the studio with a dude who looked like number one. I don't get the music. Number two, I I, I don't even like this type music. Yeah, so it was a it was a crazy. Yeah, very, very different world. Yo, let me tell you, I remember one time someone in the in in, in my Atlanta career, I was approached to possibly be an AR. And before I said yes or no, the first thing I said is I ain't wearing no suit. That was the first thing. I was like, yo, man, I'm not coming to work. I already wear suits like the way I but you got me wearing men's warehouse suits to work nah man i was not with it <laughs> you know you know you just brought something up i didn't even think about what why didn't you ever become a label exec because you uh, you 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 were the the prototype for where the music industry has evolved to mm -hmm. so many artists producers people who uh have the ability to either recognize talent, produce talent, they have turned in their, yeah, yeah. their artist caps and, and, and put on that label exec hat. Why, why didn't you ever do that? I think, I think um, to my own detriment, I, I would, I can safely say that. As an artist, you know, I'm, I'm free. I, I work for myself. Uh, you know, I make as a producer, I make money. I go on the road still. I, I'm able to keep a home and, and a family and cool things. And I'm free. Part of me starts to think, and I'm, and I'm not saying this is a smart part of me, mind you. <laughs> I'm willing to admit the dumb parts of me too. So part of me thinks, Yo, I can't be in no office every day looking at artists in their face and telling them one thing when I know in the back of my mind it could possibly be something else. Um, crunching numbers. And then I think that like the worst thing, like I'm a pessimist at nature sometimes. I'm like, what happens if it comes to that day when they send the two security guards to the office and they tell you you can get we'll bring your stuff down oh man i'm gonna be so embarrassed yo that is the yo corporate that's the worst thing corporations do you could be the best worker and then the goons show up to your office one day and be like <laughs> we'll get your stuff or you can come back on saturday we're escorting you out leave your <laughs> Leave your laptop, leave your phone. You'd be like, what? <laughs> you can you pack your plaques know. up on Saturday morning. You'd be like, they don't what? even give you a heads up. You, you no, they don't tell you nothing. nothing. No. They show up. Security guy shows up and HR shows up and they're like, yo, you got to go. Can you? No, HR calls you to the room and a security dude goes to your office and starts. <laughs> You could be president of the company. Yo, man, I, I can't do it, man. I nah, but you, you really, you really could have, like, with all that you've done. Yeah. You were groomed for that position, whether you wanted it or not. And, and I'm so surprised. And, and even hearing the reason why you didn't go that direction is. Well, I was never I was never offered that position either. Like I think 
I think, um, I don't know. I don't know how others in higher positions may see me, but I think my personal thought is I think they see me as too, too artsy to get into business mode. Mm. Um, and it's probably the truth. You know, you know, I've been in, you know, one of the biggest, the biggest answers I tell people this all the time, the, the biggest question you'll ever be asked in business is the shortest question. And that is, what do you want? Correct. You sit in front of somebody that has the power, they're going to ask you, and it happens every time. And I'm pretty sure you've seen it. What do you want? Now, my answer is something stupid like not even getting the question. Oh, no, I'll take a, I'll do a, a turkey burger <laughs> or something like that. You got to be kidding me. And look at Jimmy Iovine's face. What? <laughs> hey, no, what do you mean? You know, and then it turns into the awkward moment. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I can be so spaced out that I probably have missed opportunities like that. You know what I'm saying? And and I've not known that the opportunity was even there because I'm so I'm a daydreamer by nature. So I'm I'm looking at the studio, I'm looking at the office, I'm gathering information and I'm not smart enough to answer what do you want because i should have walked in with what do i want i'm right. thinking i'm going in there playing beats but if you if you're not asking me to play beats and you're asking me what do i want that means you want me for something and i yeah. was not smart enough to understand that question and that question may never get posed to me again and i understand that. that's cool maybe i'm the one to now ask somebody that question but but um that's just a, i guess in another universe man i i could be an executive with a a, a black card you know running up charges for universal <laughs> you know nah, I mean, that is the model like like so many talented producers so many talented artists they, they have transitioned they changed yeah. the habit yeah, like that that is the model. If 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 you can make talent, come make it for us. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move, and I catch you all on the next video.